In this lesson, we'll focus on solving proportions, but we'll be just using number sense and also scaling properties. So a proportion, that's any equation that states that two ratios are equal. So it looks like this. Ratio of A to B equals C to D. So basically two fractions are equivalent to each other. There are going to be three simple ways to solve proportions that we're going to work on without having to break out a calculator. So a lot of times I want you to use this proportional reasoning idea and just try to solve something quickly without having to pull out your calculator. So the first way is to find the scale factor left to right or right to left and then multiply or divide by that number that you find to scale it. That's like what you've been doing for years since you were finding equivalent fractions. Two, you could scale top to bottom or bottom to top. A lot of people don't think to do this, and sometimes it's the easiest way to solve it. Three, I like this one a lot. You can simplify one of your fractions first and then scale. So let's look at some example problems. You are going to try to solve for the unknown variable, and you're trying to come up with an efficient method that doesn't require a calculator. So I kind of want you to try these on your own, but then I want you to pay attention to what method I use and see if you use the same method or something different. Okay, so in problem A, it says 3 over 5 equals x over 20. This one has a really nice scaling factor from left to right because 5 times 4 equals 20. So we can just use that scaling factor up here, 3 times 4 equals 12, and we know that x equals 12. Right, the second problem, B, it says 23 over 46 equals 20 over x. Well, if you try to go left to right here, 23 to 20, that scaling factor is not very pretty. 20, 20 thirds, kind of eh. But if we try to go um, top to bottom, to get from 23 to 46, all we have to do is multiply by 2. That's a nice convenient number. So we can do that same process from top to bottom on the right side. And 20 times 2 is 40. So x equals 40. And you may have come up with a different way too, but I hope you see that that's quite an efficient method. All right, let's look at two more. So this one says 8 over 12 equals x over 30. So if I'm dealing with this, and I try to go left to right, mm, that's not a pretty whole number. Top to bottom, mm, not too pretty of a whole number. So I'm going to try another strategy. I'm going to take 8 twelfths and I'm going to reduce it. Well, 8 twelfths, I know that equals 2 thirds. So really, I'm saying 2 thirds equals 1 out of 30. And now that I've reduced 8 twelfths, I have a really nice scaling factor. 3 times 10 is 30. So 2 times 10 is 20. So in this case, x equals 20. All I had to do was reduce, and then it made it easy. And then D. Okay, x over 21 equals 9 over 27. I've got a couple methods here. I could reduce. I'm going to try this dividing thing. I look from 27 to 9. All I have to do is divide by 3. So I'm going to do the same thing here from 21 to x. You can also just divide by 3. So x equals 7. I like that one, and I also like um, just reducing 9 27 to 1 third, and then saying 1 third equals what over 21? You can multiply by 7 this way, so multiply by 7. You're going to still get 7. Both of these are really good methods to solve this problem. Okay, hopefully you've found some ways that you can do a lot of proportional reasoning in your head.